to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town, and this morning you're going to see why we're the best town around as we honor several dozen uh, children, youth from our town for the great things that they do for all the great organizations that serve the people of Woodbridge Township. Let's begin by asking our uh, long time ago, what year were you, Miss uh, uh, Woodbridge Idol? 2009. Uh, Valentina Saramba is going to lead us in the national anthem. Please rise and uncover. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets rattled, the bombs bursting in a game proof through the night. That Please stay standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. There are some seats in front if you want to come up in the first couple of rows. Uh, the way this is going to work, we have uh, several of our council people here today. They're each going to take turns reading the biographies of the honorees, and then the honorees will go over there. They'll get a picture uh, in front of the, uh, what do you call that thing? The screen. The screen. I couldn't think of the word. The screen. Very long word. Difficult word to remember. Uh, and then we'll take pictures, and then you can sit down. We ask you to please stay till the end, because we want to get a group picture. Um, I also want to thank Megan Kushpa from the mayor's office for putting this together today. Megan, great job. I want to thank all the people from the Woodbridge Community Center who helped also put this together. There also will be a gift basket raffle at the end. So each of the honorees has their name in the envelope there. And there's, I'm not sure what's in the gift basket, but it looks like a lot of fun. So at this point, let me introduce all the council people. And as I said, they will take turns reading the biographies. Our council president, third ward councilman, Corey Spiller. Second, uh, fifth ward councilwoman, Debbie Meehan. Councilwoman at large, Lizbeth De Jesus. Councilman from the second ward, Howie Bauer. Councilwoman from the 1st Ward, Nancy Drum. Councilman from the 4th Ward, Viru Patel. Uh, former Councilwoman and current Chief of Staff, whose idea this was, we figured out over 20 years ago when she was on the Council in the late 90s to have this youth um, award program. I think we had six or 10 people the first year, and now we've got several dozen, so this thing has really grown. Uh, Carolyn Ehrlich, so at this point, I'll start with, I think Nancy Drum has the first honoree. Thank you, Mayor McCormick, and I'd like to call up Madison Rackett from the Woodbridge Middle School Counseling Department. Madison goes above and beyond to help with school and community service. She steps up to the plate without being asked and selflessly has created posters, delegated responsibilities of the backpack collection for children in foster care, and assisted with various collections at Woodbridge Middle School. Madison serves as Vice President of the, of the NJHS, Student Council Member, Captain of Lady Warriors, and many other clubs. 
Outside of school, she gives her dedication to Woodbridge Little League as an, empire, as an umpire and working the concession stand. Her enthusiasm is contagious, which promotes more student involvement. Madison is a true inspiration. Congratulations. Good morning. Our next recipient from St. Andrew's Religious Education Program, Deborah Castro. Deborah Castro has been a volunteer with St. Andrew's Religious Education Program for two years as a teacher's assistant. Her responsibilities are checking homework, working with children who need a little extra help, and helping others with various projects. Deborah is an asset in the classroom. She's always willing to help with a smile on her face. She's a wonderful role model for the younger children to look up to because she shares her experiences with them and is constantly encouraging them. We are fortunate to have her working with us. Congratulations, Deb. John F. Kennedy Memorial High School, nominee Lois Choi. Of all the current seniors from the graduating class of 2019, Lois Choi has accumulated the most volunteer hours, 460. She has attained these hours through pursuits both inside and outside of school. Here at JFK, she is a member of two volunteer-based clubs, Key Club and the American Cancer Society Club. Through these clubs, she's able to participate in events such as the Breast Cancer Walk, the AAC Walk, and the MS Walk. Beyond these clubs, Lois also volunteered for events here at school such as the Easter Egg Hunt and the Tricky Trade Fundraiser. Outside of school, Lois has volunteered numerous hours at her church and even attended a mission trip to Guatemala. In addition to her work at church, Lois has volunteered in various Whippers events such as the Township Cleanup. Congratulations, Lois Choi. Number three. John F. Kennedy Memorial High School Guidance Department nominee is Kelly Voorhees. <laughs> Kelly is a 10th grade student at JFK High School who is passionate and motivated and has overcome various adversities. Her best coping mechanism to dealing with her adversities is volunteering her time and energy of, to those less fortunate. Simply put, in the hallways of JFK, Kelly is a ray of sunshine, always smiling and exchanging hellos Kelly's an asset to the Marching Mustangs, School Musical, and the Kennedy Stars, Dancing Exchange, and volunteers monthly setting up parent faculty uh, group meetings and book fairs. She also finds passion in volunteering specifically with special needs or underprivileged youth. She volunteers weekly for about two hours at Liquid Church and uh, as one of the special needs buddy with preschool age students. And once a month, she donates her time as an evening babysitter so families who have kids with special needs can have the opportunity to have a night out. The last two years, she has also volunteered to be a special needs buddy for the Tim Tebow Foundation's Night, of, Night to Shine. Prom for, it's a prom for youth adults with special needs. Kelly also volunteers for the New Jersey Senior Olympics. In the summer of 2018, Kelly traveled to the Dominican Republic for a week of handfuls of hope where she worked at an orphanage. Prior to, the, to that week, she volunteered her time to help fundraise for this event. Kelly plans on becoming a missionary through Liquid Church and Handfuls of Hope when she graduates from JFK. Kelly continues to be a forward thinker and is already in the process of fundraising money to help aid in the course of a year-long trip to Africa. Congratulations, Kelly. <clears throat> Our next nominees, Avenel Middle School Community Service Club, Kara Mitch, Elizabeth Spiller, and Nicole Zork. Kara Mitch has been an instrumental leader in the student-driven Avenel Middle School Community Service Club. Kara is one of three founding students in this community-based organization. She is currently the co-president. 
Her insight and visionary capabilities have led to successful events such as Crayons for Kids, Socktober, and our Toys for Tots projects. Kara's enthusiastic and upbeat personality is contagious. Her open heart has contributed to the unique initiatives the Community Service Club has offered. Kara Mitch. Elizabeth Spiller has been an effective and empowering leader in the Avenel Middle School Community Service Club. As a founding student, Elizabeth has immersed herself in a variety of fundraising activities and various roles. As co-president, Elizabeth has spearheaded such projects as our Luck of the Irish Games, March of Dimes Tricky Tray, and Team Eric Legrand Donation Drive. Elizabeth spends hours inside and outside of school ensuring that our projects are organized and seamless. Elizabeth Spiller. Nicole Zor is a founding student in the Avenel Middle School Community Service Club. In her role as co-vice president, Nicole serves on an advisory board to develop programs to help much needed community-based projects. Her marketing and public relations skills have allowed to this club to create awareness throughout the community. Congratulations, Nicole Zor. Woodbridge High School, Preethi John. <laughs> Preethi John is an extraordinarily hard worker with an immeasurable drive to achieve all of her endeavors. She plans on attending Drexel University in the fall to pursue a degree in the medical field. Her goal is to be a physician assistant. To say Preethi works hard is an understatement. She is involved in many extracurricular activities at Woodbridge High School, as well as in the community. She volunteers her time at the local food banks, local charity events, and the VA home. This year, she took it upon herself to start a fundraiser to donate all the proceeds to the Breast Cancer Foundation. She named the event Pinkathon, and her goal was to raise $500. Not only did she raise the money, but she exceeded her goal and raised a little over $3,000. Preethi dedicates so much of her time and effort throughout the whole school year for this event. She bought bracelets and sold them during school, at night events, and during a church bake sale. She spent endless hours volunteering her time for the Pinkathon. Preethi was very passionate about this event, and that is why it was so successful. She is always thinking of others' needs before her own and always wants to be involved and proactive. There isn't a better candidate for this award. Congratulations, Preethi. Good morning. From Island Middle School, Mercy Jacob. Mercy is a decorated 14-year-old volunteer in Island Middle School, she is a member of Heroes and Cool Kids Sidekick Program, the IMS Garden and Community Council. Through the Garden Club, she is proudly, proudly able to take part in making her school look wonderful. And in the Community Council, she also gets to help the school be the absolute best it can be. She also helps out at the school's plant sales and volunteers to work behind the register during school sporting events. The past couple of years, she has also volunteered with Operation Christmas Child by sending shoe boxes filled with necessities for children in need across the globe. Mercy also serves food at homeless shelters in New York, has participated in the Trek Recycling Challenge, and she also finds pleasure in making and sending cards for the organization's cards for hospitalized children. She also dedicates her Saturdays to the Buddy Reading Program at the Island Library. Mercy is also involved in volunteering for a bunch of organizations around the town, such as tooling around the township. You must have been busy yesterday. The National Public Lands Day. In the near future, Mercy is looking forward to assisting the veterans home. What do you do in your spare time? Congratulations. Jennifer Peace, Angel Paws. 
Jennifer is a valued member of the Sunday evening shift at Angel Plus. With her grandmother, who is also a volunteer, Jennifer takes cats from the adoption center to the veterinary appointments and often goes to the veterinary office to pick up medication for them. She also participates in fundraising and other events held by Angel Paws. It is very evident that Jennifer deeply loves and cares for all the animals at the adoption center. Just recently, her family adopted a long-term resident at the shelter named Zoe. Zoe was overlooked for adoption for years, but Jennifer fell in love with her, and now Zoe is very happy enjoying her new forever home with Jennifer. Congratulations. Next up, Colonia High School Counseling Department nominees, Julie Fakay. <laughs> Julie is a very involved student whose biggest strengths are her passion and commitment. She's the type of student who would throw themselves into a project and put all her effort into it. At Colonia High School, she is a part of the concert orchestra bands, choir, multicultural club, President of the National Honor Society, President of Mu Alpha Theta, Tri M Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, Girls Who Code Club, Girl Up, United Nations Foundation, Guitar Club, Colonia High School Service for Others Club, and the Student Council Homeroom Representative. The, vo uh, the volunteer organization she's involved with are One Way Club, which helps kids learn about the Bible every Friday night. Uh, Mountain View Bible Camp, Vacation Bible School, Arabic Bible Conference, and the Science National Honor Society, where she tutored other students in chemistry and other events. She is diligent, hardworking, creative, loyal, and kind soul who deserves this award. <laughs> Julie Fouquet. Good morning. Our next nominee is for Cloney Middle School, Haley O'Neill. <laughs> Haley is an eighth grade student at Cloney Middle School. Outside of school, she enjoys hanging out with her friends and participating in community service. Haley is actively involved in cleaning up the softball fields, volunteering at various spaghetti dinners, stocking the shelves at the local food pantries, volunteering at the Evergreen Youth Center on elementary school days, and participating in hospital collections. At school, she is a member of the Student Council, and this has guided her to become a responsible leader that is very active with the community. Congratulations. Our next award is for Lynn Crest School, number 22. Our nominees are Jessica Skolicki, Emily Cholaw, Lee, Leah Cholaw, and Gabriella Mealy. <laughs> Emily, Leah, Jessica, and Gabrielle are part of the Girl Scout Troop 80105. They are responsible for constructing the Little Free Library at Lynn Crest School, which allows children in the community to borrow a book to read. In addition to this project, they donate extra cases of cookies to the veterans, made a donation from their cookie money to localize organizations such as Woolbridge Animal Group, help clean up Charlie Shaughnessy Park in Colonia, and are involved with the Tackle Kids Cancer Organizations. These girls deserve to be recognized for their selfish dedication to the community. Our next nominee from the Woolbridge Township Recreation Department, Alex Naroda. Alex helps the Recreation Department at different events throughout the year. Alex will direct people where to go or help replenish supplies during our events. Alex is a fixture helping out at the Recreation Department's annual Trunk or Treat. Alex lines up the children for our costume parade and helps hand out all the awards. Alex is always such a big help and very reliable. Congratulations, Alex. Our 
Our next nominee from Boy Scouts Troop 143, Joseph Kersia. Joseph completed his Eagle Scout project at Tanzanian Park, which consisted of building two large flower boxes near the front of the stage, filling them with soil, planting shrubs in the boxes, and putting mulch in the boxes. He also landscaped the ground around the stage with five yards of topsoil, three yards of mulch, which helped to level the ground. The final part of the project was building two wooden picnic tables, one, stand <coughs> excuse me, one standard size and one that is ADA access. This allows someone in a wheelchair to use the table. The combined work hours were 287, and Joseph spent approximately 70 hours planning and preparing this project. At the age of 10, Joseph was diagnosed with leukemia and has spent most of the childhood in and out of hospitals. Leukemia is, sorry, was diagnosed with leukemia and has spent most of his childhood in and out of hospitals undergoing chemotherapy. He has to remain out of scouts, school, and sports while this was taking place. His cancer is now in remission, and he has returned to the scouts and school where he is on the tennis and swim teams. Joseph is also involved with Relay for Life and the Valerie Fund. He has given speeches and organized fundraising teams for these events. Good job. From Bishop George R. High School, Alyssa Sierra. Alyssa is a senior from Bishop George R. High School in Woodbridge Township. Alyssa is one of the most pleasant students there at BJA, BGA, I'm sorry. She is always positive and upbeat. She is in the top seven students of the senior class when it comes to total hours of service, having completed 472 hours over the past three plus years. She is heavily involved in her parish as a CCD aide and Bible school volunteer. Additionally, she has worked numerous hours at Eliza's Promise Soup Kitchen. In our school community, she has been a boys basketball program manager for over three years, keeping statistics and score. She is an active member of the Pro-Life Club and has been a Because I'm Worth It volunteer. She reaches out to the younger students by being a freshman welcome picnic volunteer and a WABA Day volunteer. She truly knows what it means to give back to her community and is deserving of this recognition. Alyssa Sierra. is from Muslim community of New Jersey and the nominee is Mohammed Shayan Ahmed please. <laughs> the Muslim community would like to nominate Mohammed Shayan Ahmed. This young man is exceptional volunteers for our organization and community. He is so young yet fully dedicated to help the community. He's working with our weekend school and organization as digital content creator, as well as substitute and logistic, logistics specialist. Congratulations, Mama. Thank you. The Girl Scouts of Central and Southern New Jersey Troop 80105 nominee, Isabella Lauro. <laughs> Isabella Lauro, along with her GSCSNJ Troop 80105, has provided three little free libraries to three Woodbridge Township elementary schools, 21, 22, and 26. The libraries are maintained, stocked with books from their collection efforts of gently used books she has also participated in purchasing through fundraising and cookie sell efforts and decorating, assembling, and delivering 30 sweet cases, which are duffel bags with essentials to foster care facility through the, the Together We Rise program. Congratulations, Isabella Lauro. From the Barron Arts Center, Noah Alvarez. 
Noah, Noah Alvarez is an active member of the volunteer group that works to support the activities of the Barron Arts Center. Noah is always available and eagerly willing to assist. He lends a helping hand with mailings, setting up and breaking down activities. In addition, he assists and participates in all the fundraising activities at the Art Center and around Woodbridge community. He has worked many hours as a volunteer host at the Barron's Art Center train show, along with assisting to help at the Barron Fest Fine Arts and Crafts Festival. He is refreshing, enthusiastic, and energetic. The Barron Arts Center staff and members of the Woodbridge Township Cultural Arts Commission unanimously support Noah Alvarez for the Mayor's Youth Volunteer Award. He is well deserving for this rec recognition and a major asset to the team. Congratulations, Noah. We gotta pull out a name for the price for a price. <laughs> Do I get to read it, Corey? Or you? <laughs> okay, so the winner of the uh, basket for the WCC raffle is Gabriella Mealy. This is kind of fun. The next name is Timothy Matten. Timothy? Is there anything else? No, that's it. <laughs> the nominee for the Woodbridge Public Library Teen Advisory Group is Isha Shada. Isha Shada has been volunteering at the Woodbridge Public Library as long as anyone can remember, and she's known by almost everyone who works there with good reason. Isha has always been ready and willing to lend a hand to any number of events and opportunities to the that the library has had. No matter how crazy some of these events get, she's always been an exceptionally reliable volunteer who can keep it together and make sure things are going smoothly. Isha's smart, quick on her feet, and funny, and we always know we have someone reliable on our hands when she signs up to volunteer at any event. She is trustworthy and kind and has volunteered more times than anyone can even remember. She's definitely one of the best volunteers that we've ever had at the Woodbridge Public Library. Nominee Isha Shada. Five is Islin Fire Company number one, Explorer Post 319, and the nominee is Richie Dalmarter. <laughs> Richie has been a member of the Islin Volunteer Fire Company number one, Explorer Post 319, for two and a half years. Richie devotes approximately 500 hours each year serving the community. Richie is actively involved in all aspects of the Explorer program, including attending firefighter training, answering fire calls, marching in parades, assisting with fire prevention training, and helping serve food at the mayor's breakfast with the community. Richie is a leader in the 20 member Explorer post and helps train new members when they join. Richie is an asset to this program and his committed involvement help us to make the Explorer post excel. Congratulations, Richie, thank you.
From Girl Scout Troop 8015, our nominee is Kaylee Alves. <laughs> Kaylee Alves collected books and actually assembled free little libraries at three schools in the Colonia Island area. She has helped to keep these libraries stocked with books. In addition to the libraries, she helped her troop raise money to purchase back for foster children and made donations to the children with cancer. So one thing, if you guys have any gently used books that you want to get rid of, reach out to Girl Scouts Troop 80105. Congratulations. Woodbridge Middle School National Junior Honor Society. Nominees are Teresa Androvich and Claudia Marcis. This is Teresa, that's Claudia. <laughs> Teresa is a true leader that others benefit from. She goes above and beyond to help with school and community service. With Teresa, you never have to ask because the task is already complete. She actively participates in cheering, student council, drama club, art club, chorus, Girl Scouts, and the National Junior Honor Society. She humbly donates to various fundraisers held in school, such as creating backpacks for children in foster care. Teresa gave her time to fill each backpack with personal items and make the delivery a success. Teresa is a true inspiration to give back and honor others. Congratulations. <laughs> Claudia goes above and beyond and is dedicated in helping both her school and her community. She steps up for all school functions without being asked and has her many improvements to the NJHS induction were memorable and heartfelt. She humbly donates to various fundraisers in schools, such as creating backpacks for children in foster care, and she actively volunteers at horse play stables by cleaning the stalls, feeding the horses. Although she may not realize, Claudia is a natural role model in and out of school. Congratulations. Woodbridge Middle School Counseling Department nominee Riley Kaschak. As a sixth grader, Riley understands the importance of giving of oneself for the benefit of others. Riley is always the first to volunteer without being asked. Every morning she is at the counseling office with assistance and suggestions. She began decorating our door every month with a different theme. She singly handedly decorated the main office bulletin board with a positive message for students and faculty. In addition, she is instrumental in planning and carrying out fundraising activities. The fund she has helped raise goes toward funding students who are less fortunate to go on field trips, attend dances, and receive yearbooks. Raleigh is well-wounded and actively, actively sorry, participates in student council, mural club, student ambassador, Girl Scouts, and gymnastics. Woodbridge Middle School is proud of students that exhibit personal sacrifice. Congratulations, Riley. The next nominee is from Colonia Fire Department, Sedina Walker. Ever since joining the Colonia Fire Department Explorers Post, Sedina Walker has been an extraordinary active member. Most weekdays, she will come directly to the firehouse after school to learn, practice, and respond. Sedina is always eager to work and learn and is constantly seeking to help and assist, no matter how trivial the task might be or how long it takes. She is not afraid of getting dirty. Sedina is a graduate of the 2018 Ohio Youth Fire and EMS Training Academy, which is held in Ohio. With limited advanced training, she successfully completed what, was best, what can best be described as an intense week-long version of a full-fledged fire academy which normally would span seven months. What makes Sedina worthy of being a recipient of the Mayor's Youth Award are two factors. First, she is first is the dedication she has ex exhibited sorry, to her family, peers, and firefighters from Colonia and other departments she has come into contact with. Second is that she has managed to devote countless hours to the fire department while successfully competing completing and passing the normal course load of a high school student. 
These are truly signs of a well-focused and sincere young adult that Woodbridge Township should be proud of. Congratulations. Our next nominee is from the American Irish Association, Sarah Alexa. Sarah, it's a pleasure to have representing the Woodbridge American Irish Association. She has participated in various local volunteer opportunities, including Sunshine Summer at St. James, the Food Pantry at St. James, Tooling Around Town, the annual American Irish Association Pancake Breakfast, the Knights of Columbus Pancake Breakfast, Bingo Night, and the annual picnic at the Veterans Home in Edison. She is also an active member of the Community Service Club at Avenel Middle School. Congratulations. With the New Jersey Senior Olympics, Shia Amin. Shia is a junior at John F. Kennedy Memorial High School. She has been a fantastic volunteer for the New Jersey Senior Olympics for two years. She volunteered at the track and field event as well as the cornhole event. She always stays on top of her volunteer work, is organized, friendly, and handles the seniors very well. At school, she is vice president of the Women's Choir and Key Club and is the piccolo section leader in the marching band. She is a member of the academic team, Heroes and Cool Kids, Science Honor Society, and the National Honor Society. She also performs with the show choir and is in the school musical. Aside from the Senior Olympics, she volunteers at the Menlo Park Veterans Memorial Home, the Island Branch Library, and the Henry Inman Branch Library. She is more than deserving of this award. Congratulations, Shia. Our next nominee is for the Ever Evergreen Youth Center is Timothy Madden. Timothy Madden is a seventh grade scholar that constantly gives up his time to help out during elementary day. You can always rely on Tim to do any given task relating to volunteering with a big smile. Tim always keeps the youth center tidy and organized. During his time at elementary day, it is great to see him make the elementary school students feel involved with the activities. There is no hesitation when we say he deserves the Mayor's Youth Award. Congratulations. Woodbridge Library, Ford's Branch, Ryan Gonzalez. <laughs> Ryan has been a frequent library patron and started coming when he was a preschooler, coming to preschool story, story time with his mom. He continued coming frequently throughout his elementary and middle school years. He attended many of the programs throughout those years and always participated in his summer reading programs. Because of his love of the library and reading, he has volunteered over 60 hours the past two summers to help with the summer reading program at the Forge Branch Library. His enthusiasm for reading and his kind, helpful manner has made him a fantastic asset in encouraging many children to join the reading club and also share his excitement for reading. Ryan is now a freshman at Woodbridge High School and a dedicated, hardworking student. We look forward to having Ryan volunteer at the Forge Branch Library again this summer. Congratulations, Ryan. Seven Oak Tree Road School number 29. Uh, the nominee is Leonard Cabaria. <laughs> Leonardo <clears throat> volunteers his time as a Cub Scout and as a member of our school's school speech club and student council. As a Cub Scout, 
Leonardo and his troop collected canned food items for families in need around Thanksgiving. And in December, he traveled to, to the veterans' home to sing Christmas carols. As a student at Oak Tree Road School, Leonardo is part of the both our school spirit club and the student council. The school spirit club meets once a week during recess to develop ways to boost school, school spirit. They have made posters, slogans, and came up with our Golden Eagle Wave. Most recently, the members worked very hard making over 500 bracelets for our entire school. As a part of student council, Leonardo collected food items from classrooms for our November food drive and toys during December for Toys for Tots. Currently, the student council collects dried markers or used crayons that will be recycled at the end of the school year. Congratulations, Leonardo. And <clears throat> number 38 is Robert Masnick, school number 26. Nominee is Isabella Lauro. Isabella is a hardworking individual who cares not only for our school, but for her Girl Scout troop 80105. At school, she volunteers as a lunch helper with the gardening club, the environmental club, the food pantry, and was part of the backstage crew for Robert Masnick's first musical production of Shushical Kids. As mentioned before, school number 26 is one of the schools Isabella created the library book exchange for in order to receive her bronze award for Girl Scouts, which she maintains on her own time. Isabella is a delight to have a Robert Masnick and is a great example of a volunteer who does a lot of service for our school and community. Congratulations, Isabella. Our Lady of Mark Mount Carmel and St. Anthony's Church is nominating Cecilia Torres for the 2019 Mount Youth Volunteer. <laughs> Cecilia is a senior and attends Mother Seton High School. Cecilia and her family have been members of Our Lady, Our Lady of Mount Carmel for over 20 years. Cecilia has been an outstanding altar server for 10 years for Our Lady, Our Lady Mount, Mount Carmel worship site and has served in the special uh, liturg liturg liturgical uh, celebrations at St. Anthony's of the Padua Church. Uh, she is a very active, uh, very active at Mother Seton High School as well. She is a big little, big sister, little sister program, and she is a member of the school choir and dance team, where, where she was captain for two years and was nominated for Rookie of the Year. She has volunteered for the Summer Works of Faith program at St. Anthony's Church and New Jersey Veterans Memorial Home at Menlo Park and Junior Catholic De Development Association. Cecilia is an asset to our parish community. For these reasons, I nominate her for a Youth Volunteer Appreciation Award. Congratulations, Cecilia. And our last nominee for today is from Colonia High School, Skylar DeGeorge. <laughs> Skylar is an outstanding member of the Heroes and Cool Kids program where she mentors the youth of the township, as well as a leader in the Colonia High School community. She has exceeded the amount of required community service hours needed to be part of the program. I feel the events she has volunteered for have helped many township programs and organizations ranging from the Senior Olympics to helping out at Colonial Middle School Tricky Tray. She participates in events at Colonial High School to raise funds for different service programs, such as collecting food for food drives, volunteering at blood drives, and encourages her peers to get involved as well. She is the junior class treasurer and sets a great example of a compassionate, enthous enthusiastic community member dedicated, dedicated to helping others. Congratulations.
Okay, just quickly, the two councilmen who came in a little later, Councilman Greg Ficarra and Councilman Kyle Anderson. I didn't introduce them, so thank you. There are some refreshments out, so please stick around if you would like. We'll go, Beth, against there for the group picture against the wall. The wall, okay. And last thing I want to say is congratulations to the parents. Uh, you've raised a kid or a child with the culture of volunteerism and the culture of helping others. Whenever I go to schools and talk to the kids, I always say scores are important, grades are important, certainly, in your future. But whether it's going into college, into grad school, med school, law school, going for your first job after college, people that read your application, people that read your resume want to know that you care about others more than you care about yourself. And each of you here is on that path. You've developed a culture in your home, a culture in your school of volunteering and helping, and that's going to be so important. So all I can say is keep it up. Uh, you'll be back here some other day, and you'll, you'll get to your, the place you want to be because you've proven that they care about people. So thank you all very much. Congratulations again to the parents.